Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today we will learn the calibration of Carl Fisher titrator. So in this session we will demonstrate the scientifically valid procedure to calibrate the Carl Fisher titrator. So the calibration is a critical step in maintaining the reliability of water content using Carl Fisher titration. So friends, my YouTube channel name is Pharma Quality. So please view, like, comment and subscribe my channel. So now first we will discuss the puret calibration. So I'm taking the example of Metrome make Carl Fisher titrator, right? So first switch on the instrument from power and from instrument itself. Then fill the reservoir bottle with purified water and fix it into the holding flask and note down the temperature of purified water. So recording the temperature of purified water, you need to have a calibrated thermometer, right? With the help of that thermometer, you can take the temperature of purified water. Then purge the system two to three times by draining out the purified water so that there should not be any air bubble into the line. Now take one volumetric flask and weigh it and tear it, right? And after tearing, insert the tube from the reservoir bottle into this volumetric flask. And then after press the buret key button and select the dispense option option and enter the volume 1.000 ml and press the start button right so once you will press the start button the 1 ml purified water will dispense into this volumetric flask and then you need to weigh again that volumetric flask and uh, write down the weight of that so further repeat the above procedure for one more time right and based on this data you need to calculate the actual volume and again you need to repeat the above procedure for set volume of 3 ml 5 ml and 10 ml in duplicate right so we need to perform this buret calibration for 1 ml 3 ml 5 ml and 10 ml in duplicate right then calculate the relative error for each discharged volume and the acceptance criteria should be the maximum relative error should not be more than plus minus 0.3 percent so how we'll going to calculate this will we can discuss into the next slide right so now we'll discuss how to calculate the relative error so the formula of v actual is equal to mass that is w1 minus w2 divided by density of water at actual temperature so let's assume that the water density at 25 degrees c is equal to 0.9970 gram per ml right then the formula of relative error is equal to v actual and minus v set divided by v set into 100 right so here i have taken the example to calculate the 1 ml of purified water right so here you can see for 1 ml way of dispense water that is mass in gram let's assume that your w1 minus w2 is 0 0.99780 right and the v actual so you can use this v actual uh, this formula to determine this uh, you can use this formula to identify the v actual right that is uh, this mass in gram divided by density of water at actual temperature that means you need to divide this by 0 0.9970 so we'll have the answer 1.00080 right so the formula of relative error is equal to v actual that means this one minus v set that means what you have set uh, the volume of purified water into the instrument so this one right divided by the v set that means this one again into the 100 so you will you can be able to calculate the relative error so your answer will be 0 0.080 in the same way uh, you need to perform for the uh, you know same uh, procedure for one more time so for example you will have the relative error 0 0.070 
so the maximum relative error what is the maximum into this that is 0 0.080 so your, your answer will be result will be 0 0.080 so in this way you can perform uh, this period calibration for 3 ml 5 ml 10 ml in duplicate and calculate and get the results right so now here we will discuss the validation of Carl Fisher titrator so before doing the validation of Carl Fisher titrator you need to determine the factor right so how to determine the factor I have already made a video so in the last my last video you can check the process so you need to perform the five continuous titration using the sodium titrate dihydrated USB reference standard right and the weight of sodium titrate dihydrated USB reference standard should be with uh, between 0 0.020 to 0 0.100 gram right and then you need to select the appropriate method for calibration and operate so all the factor related and operation related I have already discussed in my last video right now the acceptance criteria for this test this calibration will be that in between the limit of water content defined by USB COA so the value you can see here uh, this value can be written at the USB reference standard you know that while so here you can see this 14.85 to 16.27 percent weight by weight so basically this specification limit will change as per the lot number right so your result should be in between this right so now once you perform all the five continuous titration so the rsd of these five continuous titration that should not be more than 2.0 percent so these two criteria should be made to pass out this calibration right so now here we will discuss the electrode cleaning and its maintenance right so first of all remove the electrode from titration vessel and discard the available methanol from the vessel then wash the electrode with dried methanol and then wipe the electrode with tissue paper and after that dip the electrode in concentrated nitric acid for five minutes and then after wash the electrode with water and then by dried methanol and then fill the dried methanol in titration vessel and insert this clean electrode and after this you need to perform the conditioning so that there should not be any moisture present so this is the overall process for the electro cleaning and its maintenance so friends this is all about the calibration of Carl Fisher titrator I hope you can understand now thank you